for sale, 1967 Pontiac GTO. I'm going to walk around it, tell you about the car, fire it up, and then drive it. If you do enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you. Like I said, 67 GTO. Real 242 VIN GTO. Finished in factory colors. It's original factory colors. Montego cream with the black Cordova top and black interior. YS code 400 number matching motor. Turbo 400 automatic with a dual gate shifter. Console. Console with the shifter. Uh... The his and her shifter, if you want to call it that. Power steering and power brakes. Uh, your PMD Pontiac Rally wheels and Redline radial tires. I was a previous owner of 20 years. But anyway, you know, walk around it, tell you about it, drive it. Uh, so we will start here in the front. Um, the car was fully restored by the previous owner of 20 years. And uh, you'll see it. It's pretty much in, in show condition very few minor marks on the car i'll point them out when i see them um but like right here in the front chrome trim grill the black down there this all looks pretty much like new just two little baby marks right there but the rest of it there looks excellent uh fitment of the hood along the front here is awesome going that way as well one of the marks being this little chip right there on the tip we'll go this way here again another nice thing this all lines up very nicely go to this side over here do the same thing as well uh, of course this is the third GTO I have so sounds kind of repetitive if you ask me um, but this one has been fully restored, whereas the other two have been nicely maintained. One repaint with a lot of originality to them. That are also excellent cars still. Um, but anyway, let me pop the hood here. Four hundred again. You see the YS code down there. Uh, I have the PHS docks for it. Those are in the trunk. The whole engine compartment here looks pretty much excellent. There's a brake booster, and you see the tip of the power steering pump. Up, oh, wrong way. Trim tags in place, and I love the firewall with the painted black, but then a little bit of that Montego cream on top. Um, it's hard to get to it, but you see a stamping right there on the firewall. Stamping right there. Stamping right there. Uh... New hood insulation with the beautifully painted underhood here. And another little attention to detail. These look, you know, very nice as well. The, the hood springs and what keeps the hood open. Um, so. Keep going down the, the driver's side here. First off, the body is really really straight I mean you see that there another thing the lower moldings on the car this kind of trim here window trim trim the vinyl top trim this trim this is all in like close to excellent condition you know a couple you're gonna get a couple fine marks in some spots but then another sign of the car being restored all that stuff is accounted for is being being redone another thing the vinyl top has been replaced and that's perfect i mean you can see a little bit of dust on it but that's awesome the the blue one i have is the original top but you can tell that this one and, and again the blue one's very nice but this one's definitely been redone and, and that was excellent the way they did that anyway keep going And like I said, I will point out anything that I see. Uh, it, it's a very high quality paint, of course. And I'm sure you noticed that by now. Uh, the guy was a fanatic. He had like 20 some, 20 minimum trophies 
for the car. And the interior, again, the other two, the blue and the red, those are mint original interior. This has been totally uh, reupholstered, so like door panels, new carpets, seats, uh, dash pad, you, you get what I'm going with this. Uh, so the interior in this is fantastic. Seat belts front and rear. I'll go to the back first, like that's awesome. Back seat there, door panel, Got a door panel. Headliner's perfect. Another thing I wanted to show you, the attention to detail, how nicely painted that is, as well as the door jam there. Been tag in place, of course. Start on the right here. Oh, my dad never closed it. And again, it's pretty much as nice as you see tack in the dash. A couple added gauges down there. And then there's a radio. I like, they left the original radio in and they put an under dash unit in there. They didn't want to cut up the original dash, thank God. And again, that windshield's beautiful. Which looks like right here there's a little fine mark right there pretty much just as nice as the front bumper I'm noticing right here two Fine little cracks right there and then I saw it here looks like right there I know you see it so that's the worst part of the car um, without a doubt I mean as you saw on the front there's like nothing and on this side I know there's nothing um, awesome trunk fitment here They look like an original set of keys too, or at least these guys. The odometer showed 50. Can't comment on that. Nope. Gotta be this guy then. Beautifully painted underhood. Uh, weather stripping all the way around, that's in excellent condition as well as the uh, jam of the trunk here. And you see a body stamping there, as well as right there. Spare with a little cover that matches the trunk mat. PHS docks. Uh, looks like the original owner's manual and a service manual. And I, I had to show this. I found it in the glove box. That's why the glove box was open. Please, God, bless my GTO and keep it safe. I'm passing that along with the car. Um, there's that turbo 400 automatic with the 400 YS code four barrel hydromatic 336 rear. Now I noticed the rear had the tag on it. Um, Montego cream, black top, black interior. Uh, I got this, the colors and the story and then radio push button manual antenna, rear seat speaker, seat belts, deluxe wheel discs, console electric clock because they circled both <laughs> turbo hydromatic safety track rear axle wide well, i say that wrong i've said it wrong every time white wide oval floor mats ride and handling package with uh spring shocks and stabilizing bar i think that's a nice option there the other two i have do not have that uh 
soft ray glass and power steering. So uh, it has the ride and handling package. Um, anyway, yeah, rambling on. It looks like, yep, there's the tool kit, the jack, and the uh, probably the tire iron. I believe that the trunk was patched. I might as well show you that. Plus that GTL, baby. You go there. You see some of the originality here, but it looks like right there there was a repair done. Um, so I'll keep going here. Oh, and they got the du dual layer trunk that goes trunk mat that goes up there as well. Uh, dual exhaust, of course. It wouldn't have single exhaust on this. I mean, really, I'm not finding too much of anything. will be up for sale later today on my website nextgenclassiccars.com and ebay both links will be in the description of this video if you want to check it out let us know and i'm seeing it the console light works that's awesome 67 gto montego cream black interior black top number matching 400 turbo 400 automatic power steering power brakes Red lines with radials, Pontiac rallies, previous owner of 20 years, yada, yada, yada. Uh, so I'm going to finish this out soon. And I'll fire it up. And then we'll drive it. Thank you.